Welcome to the PB and J Show. We are your hosts, Pastor Becalina and Josephina. Kids, you got questions, and we have answers for you. Hey, you actually got your name right this week. You know, I was a little bit worried after last week's show. Yeah, last week. You know, I was just making sure that you were awake and listening. And hey, good job, you passed the test. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, anyway, so that last week, that juice trick you did, the challenge, that was pretty sneaky, <laughs> oh, pretty that was, clever. That was funny. I enjoyed but that. That means that you are up one point in the showdown. Ooh. Now, one point for one Pastor po Becalina. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so, but that means that I got to plan this week's challenge. Okay. And it involves, I was nice, you guys, okay? It yes. involves one of your favorite things. Ooh, oh, oh, puzzles. I love, 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 love puzzles. No. Okay. Um, <gasps> go ahead, guess. Belly button lint. And guess what? I have, I have some fresh stuff. Gross. No. And okay. no. Hmm. Serious no. Okay, it's candy. Oh my goodness. I kind of totally, I'm, no, I'm addicted to candy. I love, love, love I candy. Know. Oh, this I is know. gonna be good. See? I'm so excited. I was nice, okay? You okay. pulled that little stunt, but now it's a clean competition from okay. here on out, okay? Clean challenges. Okay. As clean as you can be with whipped cream. Ooh, two Ooh. of my favorite things. Right, candy okay. And so, whipped cream. Here's the challenge. Okay. You have to find, we each have to find, we're gonna, we have these nice little caps oh, here. Oh, perfect. Keep our hair clean. Okay. Okay, so we are going, <laughs> I feel like we need bigger shower caps. <laughs> this works well enough. Keeps my bangs clean. <laughs> Keeps me okay, so we have to find three of the sour gummy bears that I put in here, okay? That's okay. all, three. You have to find them okay. with your face, no hands. Oh, okay. No, actually, I'm gonna leave it on. I need okay. to see my way through the whipped cream. <laughs> so okay, we're so going three to three gummy bears. Three gummy bears. Okay. And you have to put them, spin them on the table, so that we can have evidence that you actually got them. Okay. Okay. I'm ready for this. Ready? Are you gonna do the countdown? Yep. Okay. Just a second. Ready? We'll move that over there. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> One. <laughs> that doesn't taste like a gummy bear. I don't, I don't think I have. Three. I win. I win. What's wrong? What's what? wrong with your gummy bears? Is it? <laughs> What's wrong, Pastor Beccolino, with your gummy bears? Oh. What is, I, what is wrong, Pastor Becalina, uh, with your gummy uh, bears? Uh, huh? Are they not delicious? Uh, Are they not delicious gummy bears? I need real candy. I, <laughs> <laughs> so, looks like we are going to add, oh, there it is. Oh. One point for Josephina. And we are tied one to one. I, uh, oh, I thought something tasted a bit oh, funny, funny in there. That would have been the clownfish. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's make this official and put it on the scoreboard. See how I already did that though? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, one and one. Let I me want. know if you need help. You beta believe I will. Okay, I think that's enough of fish puns for now. <laughs> oh my I God. can't believe you did that to me. <laughs> I can. I can't even, I cannot stand fish. What, I can't eat, no, no. I can't even fish fish. Never mind, eat fish. <laughs> and whipped cream when I'm expecting a gummy bear. That's just mean. Okay, okay. I think it's enough fish puns for now. For now. For now. For now. <laughs> Let's scale back a bit and go to our first question of the day. The Bible tells us to be nice to everyone. Should we be nice to Satan? Thank you so much for your question, Rosalie and Elizabeth. This is the answer that we have for you today. 
So if we look in our Bibles, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 44, it says, love your enemies and pray for those who prosecute you. When we read this verse, we need to remember that Jesus is talking about how to treat our friends, our schoolmates, our neighbors. He was talking about mankind. Nowhere in the Bible are we told to pray for, be kind to, or love Satan. In fact, if we look in our Bible in James chapter 4, sorry, chapter 7, verse 4, <laughs> it says, humble yourself before God, resist the devil, and he will stay away from you. That's right. So <coughs> girls, remember that Satan is the exact opposite of God. God is good <laughs> and holy. Oh my God, sugar is my Josephina, this is why we don't eat sugar while we're on set. This is why I should have coffee in here instead of sugar. Okay, like I was trying to say, mm. girls. Are you done, Josephina? Mm. We're ready? We can move on with the show now? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, good. Okay, so girls, Satan is the exact opposite of God. It's true. God is good and he is holy. Satan is everything evil and wicked. Satan is 100% evil and he does everything he can to disobey God. Satan, if we look actually in 1 Peter 5 verse 8, it actually talks about Satan. It says he is a liar, he is a deceiver, he's wicked, he's violent, he's evil, and he is our enemy. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, if we look too in the Bible, in Matthew 6 uh, verse 13, it says he's literally called the evil one. So since God hates all sin, God does not love Satan. Just like God does not love Satan, we should not love him either. Satan is evil and everything he does goes against God. Satan, uh, if we love Satan, then we cannot love God. And so we are to love our enemies. That is what the Bible tells us. But you yeah. need to remember, we need to love those who sin. We need to be kind, but to, it's, it's to mankind, it's to humans. This doesn't mean Satan. Satan is not a human. And so nowhere in our Bible does it say that we are to love Satan because he is the exact opposite of God and his goodness. That's right. And Satan will never change. And God already has his future set in stone, which we find out in Revelation 20. Jesus has already defeated Satan on the cross, which showed God's love for us. God has unconditional, nonstop love for us. But that same fact isn't true for Satan. God doesn't love Satan, and we shouldn't either. So girls, I hope that answers your question today. We are officially done the show for today. Good one. I like it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Signing off today are your hosts, Pastor Becalina and... Josefina. Kids, you got questions. And we have answers for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Or comment. Or comment. It was too much. Yeah. It was so sour. <laughs>